What's up, man? It's your big brother, Tran G, as you tuned in to the famous Living Realm Network. In this video, man, I'm about to tell y'all um, how to know if somebody putting spells and doing witchcraft on you in plain sight, all right? This is some really powerful information. Um, I know all about this topic, okay? So if you want to listen to anybody that know the truth about how this stuff works, it's going to be me, your big brother, Tran G, all right? So listen and stay tuned through this whole entire video because at the end of this video, Big Brother got something very special for you, man. Turn the volume up on your phone. Turn the volume up in your headphones and on your TV. Turn the volume up right now. Tell everybody be quiet because we about to talk business. Listen, all right? We about to talk about spells and witchcraft, okay? We about to talk about the dark side, all right? Now, I don't like talking about stuff like this, but... You know, me being a life coach and talking to some of y'all on the phone all the time, you know, I get stories of people telling me uh, situations that they got and they be going through uh, situations where people putting them under spells and witchcraft. So I just like to talk about things that you guys have concerns about. So we're going to tap into this, this negative energy just a little bit, but I don't want you to feel negative. Okay. I just want you to take the information in and I'm about to tell you and just know how to use it to your advantage so that you'll know that if somebody is putting witchcraft and spells on you right now in your life, you'll know how to deal with it, okay? Now, I'm going to also tell you towards the end of the video how to deal with it, how to come up out of it, okay? Because this stuff is real and it's very serious and it's also very dangerous, all right? The thing you got to understand about spells and witchcraft, it's not like... It's not like how you think and how they depicted to be like where there's this witch riding out, riding around on a broom with a, with a, one of those big hats on or somebody with a magic wand or, you know, you know, it's not like that. That's, that's not witchcraft. That's not spells. It's more sinister than that. Okay. And usually most of the time it's being done to you in plain sight. If you do not have the information or if you have not watched big bro and get the confirmation from me all right so listen pay close attention to what i'm about to tell you in this video everything i'm saying right now i'm about to be led on complete spirit all right so this is not half of my even my own understanding that's about to be speaking to you right now all right so listen the one thing you gotta know if, if somebody's putting a spell or a witchcraft on you or whatever they doing black magic on you or whatever all right Sometimes you will feel like you are trapped, all right? I don't know if you feel trapped right now and you feel like you can't do anything new. It feels like you can't go outside of the box, okay? It feels like you stuck in a box. It feels like every time you get the desire to just try something new or just, you know, you know, do a have a new path or you know, start something up new for yourself just to live a better lifestyle. It always feel like you trapped. It seems like every time you try to go outside your limitations, it's like, there goes this person. There goes this person right there to try to pull you back in, to try to suck you back in. All right. And be careful because that might be the person who's actually watching you from a distance who has put their so-called spell on you in plain sight. All right. See, the thing you got to understand about people that put spells on people and that do witchcraft on other people, these people are toxic, okay? They are toxic. Most of these people are very negative and they don't have any mental intelligence, okay? So what they do is they feed off of other people's downfall, all right? If they know that you got potential and they know that you you could be a... a, a a good looking person and they, they like your smile, whatever it is that's good about you, they could low key dislike you and want to make you fail because they just see that God's hand is on your life and they just trying to keep you from doing that. So every time you want to like just venture out and try to do something new, you want to take on a new project. OK, you want to create something new. These people pop up out the blue. All of a sudden, it seems like they want to pull you back in. All right. They don't want you to leave. They want to keep you to themselves. They trying to bring you down. 
You know, they don't want to see your vision. They don't want to they don't want to go where you want to go. They don't want what you want and they don't want you to do anything new. All right. You could very well be under somebody's spell and don't know it. And the reason why you're under the spell is because you probably love this person. You know, you probably look up to this person or maybe you thought this person was always there for you because it seems like they're always calling you or it seems like they always know exactly when to hit you up at the right time when you're about to do something new all to freaking just tell you why it's not good for you they'll always tell you nah that ain't good don't don't hang around this person oh don't go there i've been there before and it ain't good don't do this don't do that they'll always tell you something bad about what you desire to do and they never even did it before you ever notice that Beware of people like that, man. That's people that's trying to keep you under their spell. They don't want you to go nowhere. They don't want you to be nobody. They don't want you to have nothing. Maybe because they never had nothing. Maybe because they they don't feel confident to do the thing that you're trying to do. And their whole intention is to keep you under that bind, you know, of their spell to believe that you don't need to excel. You don't need to do anything greater than what they doing. You feel me? So that's how that's that's somebody that put a spell on you and try to keep you in the same situation. All right. The next way you know somebody is doing a witch, witchcraft or a spell on you is when you feel like someone is using religion to try to control you. I don't know who this is. I can't make this up. Look, I don't know who this is. But if you feel like people around you who are religious people you feel like they using the religion doctrine the the whatever the quran the bible um the book of krishna whatever hinduism pentecost whatever if you always feel like certain people around you is using they relit the religion to control you then they more they doing spells yo i can't make it up bro all right See, that's why I told y'all witchcraft, witchcraft and spells and black magic. It's not what it's depicted to be. It's not really what you think. It's a lot more. It's a lot more darker than what you can actually imagine. OK. Some people are putting spells on people and they don't even know that they doing it. That's what I'm saying. All right. So there could very well be people who is twisting religion just to get you to stay in a box, just to get you to stay confined and conform to not be your greatest potential. OK, it's all about controlling you. They want to control your destiny. They want to control your mind. They want to control your feelings. And if they see that you got low self-esteem or they see you don't have the, the vitality, if they see that you're, you're, you're depressed or, you know, you're weak or something at that time, they will use religion to try to keep you in a spell bind. OK, some people will call you a sinner. You know, what I mean, some people will say, oh, you shouldn't have did that because chapter verse 17 chapter says this you know well it says that or it says so it's all about trying to keep you in fear that's what these decepticons doing they trying to keep you under their spell they trying to keep you in fear and what what these fake false prophets or whoever they call themselves is these religious holy rollers what they like to do is if they know you got potential, if they know you you trying to be the greatest version of yourself, they will take religion doctrine and throw it at you and say, this is why you're bad. And this is why your life is not going to be nothing. This is why you're going to fail. And this is why you're not you're not a part of God and stuff like that. They'll use all this stuff to twist you up and to try to get you to believe that they are right just so that they can control you. OK just so that they can see you fail, just so that they can see you sad or you in fear or just so that you can start crying or something. It's all about breaking your spirit from your true self. They don't want you to experience your true self. They want to break that spirit away from you, but they'll use manipulation of religion to make you think that you are being a bad person for feeling true and divine and feeling like you're a part of everything in the, in the world around you okay listen man it's your big brother trans g man get it a thumbs up if that resonated with your spirit and your soul 
All right. Now, here's something more physical that people will begin to do. I've had I had people do it to me, but they ain't never think I was going to find it. Like I'm just dumb or something like I'm just slow. Oh, ain't no slow over here. Oh, I see you way. I see you way clearer than you see me when you come around me. Trust me. I'm very smart. Very, very smart. Oh, but listen. One thing these Decepticons will do if they are jealous of you and they don't want, you know, the best coming from you or nothing. What they'll do if, if they want to resort to black magic and doing spells, they will. If they have to, they will. I'm telling you, people, you, people are people are more worse than you think that they are. All right. You got to watch people, man. So if you got people coming over your house or if you got people riding in your car, even I don't give a damn if you drive a Lyft or Uber, you got to watch these people when they riding with you. OK, we get, you got to watch your neighbor if they come over your house. Watch these people when they come over your house. Watch that date that you invite to into your head, into your living room. Watch them. OK, if people begin to leave objects in your house or in your car. And they do it often. And you just notice, like, why do you keep leaving stuff over my house? Why do you keep leaving stuff around me? Bro, they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. These people doing that just so they can get back into your presence again. It's a spell in plain sight. Okay? They trying to manipulate you. They trying to psychologically manipulate you and trick you to get you to think about them or to get you to invite them back so that they could do more dirty things or they might be trying to plant something in your house so that you can get caught by another girl or something like that. You know what I'm saying? They mean, they might be trying to just, uh, they might be using that little object or whatever in your house and then going back and connecting it with something else and doing, doing rituals at their house because they left another object in your house. You know, you might find sticks in, inside your house. How did a damn stick get in my house? I know I ain't been outside. I wasn't climbing trees. How is a piece of how's a stick in my house? Is people do spells like this, folks? Right? You might find rocks in your house. Like how is the, how the rocks get in my house? I know I ain't smoking them. I know I ain't crazy. Why are these rocks in here? You might find somebody hair hair follicles in your house. Why? Why is it hair in? Why is it hair in this? Why is it hair in, on my table wrapped up in plastic? I'm telling you, people do spells like this. Witches, people that do black magic, bro. This is what they do. This is how they do things. They'll leave you a doll or something in your house. Yeah, yeah, there's a teddy bear. Just set him over there. Just set that teddy bear right there. And every time you look at it, just think about me, man. That's a damn voodoo doll. You feel me? They'll anytime another thing is this. Anytime somebody give you a handmade gift, be very cautious of that gift. Okay? I don't care if it's a handmade pound cake. Do not eat it. Don't eat nobody to give you a pound cake. Don't eat nobody to give you some or some some juice they made or something like that. You never know what's in it. You feel me? Not unless it's a whole lot of y'all around. Now, unless there's a whole lot of y'all around and it's a whole family thing or something like that, then you good. You know they ain't trying to do nothing deceptive because everybody got it. You feel me? But if somebody is offering you a gift and giving you something like a handmade object that they made and you already second guessing this person, you already think that you can feel the person's energy, that they don't like you or something ain't right about this person, don't never accept their gifts because it's all probably a spell. All right. They just trying to lure you in because they know you probably done detected them. OK, but see, people do this in plain sight. They'll do this stuff in plain sight and in, in hopes that you won't see the truth. OK, why do you think they buttering you up so much? Why do you think he keep giving you so many gifts and he just trying to take you shopping so much, trying to buy you a bag, talking about he'll give you allowance, he'll pay your rent, he'll buy you a car. He doing all of this for because at the end of the day, he want you wrapped around his finger to be under his spell. And the next thing you know, you be doing sex trafficking or something. Huh? Y'all about to wake up. Huh? The next, the next sign that somebody is doing witchcraft and black magic on you, man, is when you cannot sleep at night. All right? If you have a hard time sleeping at night, you tossing and turning in the bed and you keep thinking thoughts about a particular person. 
I don't know who this person might be, but you got this person on your mind. They might not even be in your life no more. You feel me? This person probably trying to do spells on you, okay? Especially if they make you feel like uncomfortable or, you know, you, you don't feel right. You know what I mean? Because if somebody was really, really attracted to you that you wasn't even sleeping with or that wasn't in your house or something at the time and you can't sleep at night, you won't feel negative feelings about this person. You will probably feel feelings of, oh, man, I know they like me. Oh, man, I, I can't wait to get around her, man. Oh, man, I know she's thinking about me. Oh, man, she's so pretty. She's so beautiful. If you ain't got feelings like that and your feelings is like, oh, I don't know about this person, man. I don't know if I should hang out with them no more, man. Like, oh, I got to fear, man. Man, I fear for this per This person makes me in fear, man. And that's a chance that person is trying to put witchcraft on you. Or well, they already done did. You know what I mean? In plain sight, your spirit is troubled, okay? You will know when somebody's not for you and somebody that's for you. So person is not for you, your spirit will warn you. Like, why are you talking to this person? Your spirit will be troubled. You can't even sleep at night. You could be sleeping with somebody who you might think could be your potential partner or, you know, any just a little fling or something like that. A little one night stand or something like that, right? All right, this person with you, y'all finally done topped it off. Now, all of a sudden, your spirit is troubled. You go to bed, you have all these bad dreams. You can't even sleep at night because the person that's sleeping beside you is a damn Decepticon, okay? The person that's beside you is demonic. So, their energy is talking to your spirit. See, when you when you go to bed at night with, with certain people, you got to understand, y'all both spirits laying in the bed. It's like two big balls of energy laying in the bed. All right. So at the minute when y'all sleep and y'all having dreams and stuff, y'all spirits are going to be having dreams of the same kind. And if that person is not right, you're going to see who that person really truly are through your spirit, your spirit body. And you're going to feel very bad. You're going to have bad dreams, it's going to be nightmares. It's going to be toxic. You're going to be you're going to be rocking and rolling, not getting no rest because the person beside you is toxic. OK. Once again, if they if you don't have good dreams, you don't feel good, you know what I mean? Then this person is not for you, okay? Somebody that's for you, you will feel good. You'll feel great. <laughs> You'll be smiling, you know what I'm saying? So that's another sign that somebody could be doing black magic and witchcraft on you in plain sight. If they don't got you to that point, all right? Listen. Now, we're getting a little serious, man. Stay tuned with Big Bro to the end of this video. You know I got something very special for you. All right. Now, another sign somebody's doing spells and witchcraft in plain sight is they have been praying on your disability to be able to run your own life. All right? I'm going to say that one more time. If you are the person... Who know another person that you feel like is preying on your inability or disability to run your own life and do your own thing. And they always want to be right. And they always trying to tell you what to do. And they always want you to hear what they think. And they always want you to believe what they say. This person probably has you under a spell, especially if you're the type of person who's been actually doing what they're telling you to do. You know, they don't never give you the say so. They don't never give you the opportunity, you know, for advancement. It's always about what they want. And it's always you got to you got you always got to confine to what they want for you. This person has you under a spell. I'm sorry to say, but this person is controlling you. They manipulating you. And they manipulating you with words and they manipulating you with intimidation. OK, this person probably is intimidating, intimidating, and they know you are afraid of them. So they know you, you they know you got potential. They know you are a beautiful person on the inside and the outside. But see, they need you around because it makes them feel like they have power to have somebody of your caliber, of your specialness in their presence all the time. So if this person is always wanting you to believe in their ideas and their opinions, but they don't never want you to say nothing. They always want you to be quiet. You know, they always don't want you to have no money. Every time you get some money, they feel like you need to give it to them. All right. They're always trying to take your money from you. You know, 
they never really truly love you like like you want them to, but you love them though. Like you really know in your heart you love this person. But it's crazy because this person don't reciprocate that same love back to you. But at the same time, it's like they want your money though. They want your money. So you got to ask yourself, is it that they love you or is it that they just love money? What is it? What is it that they want? What is it that they want? Does it take money to to love you? Does it take money for you to love them? What is it about you that they really want? This person wants to control you. Okay, they wants to keep they want to keep you in a trap. They trying to they trying to pitch a spell in plain sight and they've been doing it. Okay, I don't know who I'm talking to, but you got low self-esteem. All right. And if you don't take control over your life, this person will continue to control you. OK, so you can't let this person's spell in plain sight keep you from living your best life. All right. If you need to talk to Big Brother Trend Genius and you in that situation, make sure you go down to the very bottom in the comment section and book a session with me. If you are in that type of situation. All right. It's simple. I can easily help you get out of that situation. I can easily reverse that spell easily. All right. But. Anyway, let's talk about this. So another sign that someone is probably trying to put a spell on you or do black magic on you is if they tell you that you have like a demon or something. Or, you know, they tell you you're you're uh, demonic or they tell you that you're sinister or, you know, they, they just tell you that you have a spell on you or something like that. And you're like, hold on, I ain't know, I didn't think I had a spell on me, but they tell you, you got a spell on you. You know, it's something that I, I, I seen something. I seen something that's going to attack you. Or I seen that this person that you was going to meet was going to try to hurt you. Was going to try to harm you. You know what I'm saying? When you got people that's coming into your life and they, they trying to speak negative things over you, they trying to speak the curse on you. You ain't cursed. You probably ain't never been cursed. But they trying to speak a curse on you. They trying to speak a demon to, to manifest in your reality. You know what I mean? They trying to speak evil on your life. Then this person is the witch, the, is the witch themselves. This person is the devil himself. And so what they'll try to do is use reverse psychology on you because they see you came to them for something. They'll try to use reverse psychology on you and they will try to tell you that you have the curse. They'll try to tell you that what they seen or the God that they serve saw something bad was going to happen to you. Well, which, how many gods are there? Is there one for me and one for you? Which one are you talking about that has that sees something bad going to happen to me? Huh? Where they do that at? Where they, last time I checked, it was only one God. So if he told you, don't you think he would have told me? Decepticons, bro. People is trying to do witchcraft on you. And I'm telling you, they will do it in plain sight. And some people want you to be cursed. All right. Some people want you to be cursed. Some people will say they some people say you are being haunted. You are being taunted. You know what I mean? Because they try. They already know the power that they have of the tongue. The tongue got the power to speak life or death. If somebody's speaking life into you. Oh, trust me, you'll know it. You'll know if Trent real or not. If he's speaking death into you, you'll know it. If he's speaking life into you, you know it. You know it. So ask yourself, who's speaking death over you in your life? Who's speaking life over you in your life? Okay? Because the people that speak in death on you and they wishing for your downfall and they trying to control you, they don't want you to do anything new. They leaving objects in your house and sticks and rocks and sand and shit. And they, you can't sleep at night and you, you got bad text messages from the person. Then that person ain't for you. Y'all are just simply not aligned. Okay? So these are all the signs that somebody is doing witchcraft and putting spells on you in plain sight, folks. And this stuff is done in plain sight. Now, remember, sometimes people could be doing it unintentionally. All right? But... They don't know that they are under a spell themselves, okay? So be aware of who you befriend because this person could very well have some toxic energy within themselves that they are trying to spread to everybody else, like yourself. And so you could be feeling somebody else's 
demons and somebody else's negative energies if you are connected to this person who got a spell on them, okay? There are spellbound people in this world, folks, and sometimes they could be right next to you. Sometimes it could be your specific person, your partner that's under a spell, that's under a curse. And you wonder why you can't get nowhere. You wonder why things are not working out for you. Why does it always feel like you're frustrated? Why does it always feel like you're trapped? Why you can't live your best life, but you know that you are destined to live it? It might not be you. It might be the person that's right next to you, that's holding you down, that's holding you bound. But these are the signs that someone is doing witchcraft and putting spells on you in plain sight. It's your big brother, Trent. I told you, if you stay to the end of this video, I got something very special for you. Uh, I know y'all don't heard me talk about my new courses and classes, which are going to be available tomorrow. All right. It's going to be available tomorrow. All my new courses and new classes for the year 2022 will be available tomorrow in the comment section of my videos and in the description section. If y'all want to sign up for Starseed University, make sure that you tune in tomorrow. That information will be posted up under my video tomorrow. If you want to sign up for any course or class that I got that's in Starseed University. All right. Other than that, also make sure you join me on my new website called Bego. Okay, go to the link at the very bottom in the comment section. You'll see it say Bego. Just go ahead and follow me on Bego. Make you an account. I'm going to be live on there from time to time in 2022, you know, doing live videos where you can talk to me with your camera on. Okay, it'll be 20, 15, 30 people in our room with all cameras on and we can all talk to each other. So make sure that you send me a following on Bego. Make sure you get in contact with me if you want to talk to me on a one-on-one -on -one session today. That's also in the comment section at the top. With that being said, man, remember, these are the signs somebody's doing witchcraft on you and spells in plain sight. Hey, don't say nobody didn't told you. Don't say nobody didn't told you. Huh? Make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's your big brother, Trans Jeans, man. I'm out. Peace.